Warning, the following show features stunts performed by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. Accordingly, Outlaw and the producers must insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any stunt or activity performed on the show. Builds character. That cloth don't completely protect you. Just keeps from like breaking the skin really. What's up cats and chicks? Outlaw Greaser here and today I'm gonna be showing y'all a little bit of my workout routine, what I've been doing lately. So hope y'all enjoy. There's some useful stuff in here, some stuff you've never heard of before, stuff I've never heard of. Well, I have, but just recently have heard of. Um some really great workout methods that'll really build some muscle quick and you don't have to have any weights to do it. So stay tuned. I can't practice the muscle up yet because you see all oh, that's in my way. And when I try to get my good kick going, get my legs swinging, hit that damn thing. If I go backwards, I run my back into it. That's the best place I got for it right now. So I have to make do. I'm gonna go to some parks and try to find some other stuff. Just bought this bar. Been sticking it up here in these rafters. This is dangerous because it'll slide sometimes. Like the other day, yesterday, I was up here working out and I jumped up and grabbed it and it just rolled off and hit me in the head. So, yeah, be careful. But, everything you need. Obviously, big chin ups. Jumping down like that, where you got to watch out for it rolling. But push ups, elevated. Sniff the ground. These things are good for all kinds of stuff. Hold yourself up like this for as long as you possibly can and just hold. It builds your endurance and strength so you can start to move. Bring them legs down, it's a little harder. Mostly holding yourself up like that. Any way you can find to hold yourself up. It's difficult, especially when you've been doing it for a couple days now. Body ain't got the chance to rest yet. This workout here hurts more than any of them. So I'm not, I'm gonna show y'all, but gosh dang, my arms are sore from this. The goal is to try to lift your feet off the ground with your body. It hurts my triceps so bad, but I'll do it for y'all. <clears throat> it pulls all kinds of muscles, but you keep practicing every day, holding yourself up any way you can. and you build up strength and you get better at it and you can do it for longer times. Eventually I want to get to where I can do a push up with no legs. Got a ways to go. But all this stuff's what I'm using to train. Punching the bricks of course, conditioning my hands. Conditioning is really simple. All it is is punching hard surfaces over and over again and getting your fingers and your knuckles tough. This workout here is the one that I accepted the challenge on on YouTube. I've been using a 2 by 4 but a skateboard makes you work even harder because you're on wheels and so it's harder to balance. Even on car yes, it still rolls. So let me give it a try. This is not a workout. This is just me giving an example to y'all of how to do these things. I worked out yesterday. I'm super sore today. I'm really supposed to be getting my muscle to break. But I wanted to just give y'all some tips and show y'all what I'm doing. See so y'all can do it too. Lay down for Just near so I'm not taking over. Alright. Hand place. 
placement's all up to you how you want to do it. But the goal is you balance it on that wheel and push up from that position. Go to the other wheel. Now see you're not balancing on the tail. It's not flat, but you can switch back to regular flat ones. But you go up. That one was on the tail a little bit. Sorry, y'all. There you go. So nobody can say I'm cheating. All the way down. Not on the tail. And uh, if you're doing it with a 2x4 or a skateboard, you can practice flipping it and landing back on it. I haven't gotten to that point yet, but I'm going to. You mess up, you catch that thing and it hits you. Hey, you didn't hear it from me. Here's what the two up for. Now with this, I put my fingers underneath it. Set it on my fingers. You can go incline, outside, any way you want to do it. Now here's the clip trick. But it's all in the game. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Also, you can do dips with these. If you're not looking for extreme workouts like that, then yeah, go ahead and do your little dips. Yeah, they help. Woohoo. Real tough. Try to lift them legs off the ground though. Let me know how that goes. Guarantee you, you're gonna feel that right there in the back of your arms. So, hope y'all enjoyed this. As always, stay greasy. Keep it rockin' Billy. swinging too low. That's why I'm knocking everything off the whole thing. I'm punching all of it and it's all going with. Instead of hitting the right spot, which I think is somewhere right in here, so that it breaks it right there. I'm just going to keep my hand right there, not move it. Focus. Keep the movement down, know what you're about to do. You got to go up with it too. So, here we go. Nope, not ready. And I did it. <laughs> I fucking did it. I have to go back through that video and see, but I'm pretty sure I just broke this brick. One for America. Dixie, baby. Knuckles are feeling all right.